I've created the most insane meeting note template on Coda that's gonna take all your team's meeting notes and automatically post a summary with key action items and themes to Slack. So you can see here, we got this meeting note summary, a button that instantly posts it to Slack taking all these different meeting notes and summarizing them here. I'm gonna show you how to build this step by step. So come along. All right, before we build this from scratch, I'm gonna show you the end product that we're after. Essentially an ultimate meeting notes template that allows you to generate summaries of your meeting notes with artificial intelligence and post those directly to Slack. So let's see it work. Um, here we've got first here's the AI meeting note summary and then we have here's an example note from a meeting these generate in real time so if we update these right we say some people were late to the meeting notice the AI is going to update this in real time it's going to generate a new summary that is going to be in sync with my meeting notes at all time once that finally syncs through, we're going to press this button to post it to Slack. This handles multiple projects. So if I scroll down here, you'll notice that I have multiple projects and I've defined a Slack channel for each project. So then this button is smart enough to know which channel to send it to. So we can head here. Notice that our AM meeting note summary is about done. We have new. We'll just press post to Slack. And it's posted. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to build from scratch. So let's go. I'm gonna open up a new tab by saying coda.new. Let's do that, maybe. There we go, coda.new. All right, so this is gonna be the auto meeting note summary. So follow along with me. If you just wanna skip all this and get the templates, they're gonna be down below, um, as well as um, access to AI. So, But let's start here. We're gonna need two tables. We're going to need a table for notes, and we're going to need a table for projects. Now, this is some key code knowledge here. We're going to need to connect these two tables. How we connect these two tables is via a column type called a relation. Um, notice it says it's used to reference and pull information from other tables. So I'm going to say projects. I'm going to create a linked column. So both tables are linked together, and I'm not going to allow multiple selections. Don't want that. But now we can call this project. And if this is project one, project two, and project three, um, you'll notice that now we can select those projects in here. And the moment I select a project in here, um, let's call this all notes, project one. Notice it's selected in here. We're gonna, we can do that two ways as well. Notice that I can say, hey, this is also R2 and that will instantly get selected there. So kind of a nice two-way linking between those two things. So now instead of, this is our notes, let's name this date. Something really nice you can do with Coda is once you make this a date column, you can open up its settings and you can uh, go to its options and set a value for new row. So every time a new row is created, it defaults with a value. I'm gonna put date created because then every time I create a new row, it just auto populates to today. We'll then be able to pick the project that this note is for. Uh, we'll make an attendees column, and then we'll have our notes. Attendees is a little bit weird with people. There's some things you're gonna wanna pay attention to. So first, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna make it a people column. Next, this automatically has some toggles on. Notice I went to people, people options, and it automatically notifies people when they're added. That can just get busy, it can get distracting, so I usually turn that off. I usually display avatar and I allow multiple selections. So now I can go ahead and invite or log who has attended this meeting. All right, we're getting close. Uh, let's do a Slack channel as well. Slack channel. So this will allow us post buttons to Slack. We're gonna need a couple more key columns. Uh, we're gonna need a Slack pack. So how I insert packs and attach packs to my doc is I go to insert packs and then I go to Slack, search for that, install, add to doc. Uh, mine's already connected. If yours isn't, you'll press add a new account and it'll walk you through connecting your Slack account. 
This is who can view data from Slack. You're going to want to do um, anyone. I usually choose only myself unless you want your team to be able to do it. If you want your team to all be able to press and send auto-generated Slack summaries, you'll do uh, anyone. So let's connect that. That now gives us the ability to connect our document to Slack. So let's go ahead here, column type, button. Uh, we want the button to do an action. There's all sorts of actions here, but if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's one called packs. That gives you access to Slack. You can do all these different actions, but what we want to do is post a message. So we're going to post a message. Uh, the content that we're going to post is going to be, we haven't done that yet, but the channel. So let's say that this is hashtag project one. The channel that we want to send it to, notice I can just like type that channel here, but if these are different projects, project two, we want a different Slack channel. So you're gonna be able to dynamically reference the information from a separate table. Notice that here in these relation columns, inside of it, uh, there is the Slack channel associated with this project. So we can access that using something called chaining in Coda. So I'm gonna open up these options again, and instead of just sending it to project, I'm going to press the equal sign on my keyboard, equals, and I'm going to say, hey, send it to project dot. That dot is how we chain, and now we can access. Notice it says all notes. Slack channel is what we want. So we want to send it to the associated projects Slack channel. Coda also gives you these nice little colors to say, hey, here's what you're referencing in your formula. So just kind of some things to help you. Now what we're going to need um, is some notes in here. So first of all, I don't have time to write some notes. So let's get some in, in here actually with AI. So help me write uh, an example. And we'll press create now. So let's see what this does. Boom, 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 boom. Amazing. Notice Coda gives us some examples to change and shorten these, but we don't need that now. We just need these meeting notes here. So now we're going to use AI to summarize, though, and I'm going to show you kind of how to use artificial intelligence uh, in your Coda docs and on these pieces. So let's go here and let's say, let's delete this. We're going to make this the AI summary. You can fill this with AI, but that will only apply to a single column. If you want to continually summarize every meeting that takes place, what you're going to need to do is add an assistant. So if I scroll down here, we have add assistant. And now, no matter what happens, no matter how many rows grow, uh, we will always get a summary. So what we're going to say is um, provide a written summary, no more than three sentences, for the following meeting notes. Uh, we'll say additionally, provide two key themes and three potential action items from the meeting. Start out your summary with this sentence. Meeting notes from and notice here's where I can actually reference dynamic information from my column. So I'm going to use the at symbol right here. I'm going to say reference from date, right? And so that will give us a date column. And then meeting notes to summarize. Now we're going to, again, pass it. We're not going to type it in. We're going to pass it this entire column. So I'm going to say notes. And we're going to fill that. And let's watch what happens. Boom. All right. There we go. Project Green Own, Age to Kate. Mm, notice that it didn't really create my, my key themes. So let's try that again. Um, let's do this. Provide two key themes and three particular actions of the meeting as a separate section with bullet points. Let's do that. See what happens. Boom, key themes, potential action items. Now we're gonna do this. We're simply going to unwrap this text. Now we've got these different meeting notes. We can send this to Slack. So we're gonna reference that content and we're gonna say AI summary. And then we can give this a name, send to Slack. All right, and that is in general how you create an auto meeting note summary machine to use with your team. Here is this one. If you want to get this template, you can access it below. Um, 
Peace out. Let me know if you guys. Have-